Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. Today, um, well, we're moving my filming area from the main room of my house to my own room. And I, um, from last month's video on the Solo 1T from Mozart Trail, but today we're not reviewing a tent. They are very small this time. They're extremely small, and they're, well, you probably guessed it, inflatable pillows. They're a knockoff brand, I think. And then we got them two colors, one for me and one for my dad. And um, before we dive into this video, I just want to say thank you for the support. Um, thank you for the commenting, liking, subscribing. Um, channel hasn't been growing because I haven't been uploading. But thank you for uh, liking. If you have liked or viewed my video, I really appreciate it. It's really just a hobby of mine that I enjoy to do. So let's get straight into it. As we dive straight into this review, um, I sincerely apologize for this background music, if I, editor me, um, turn up the volume so you can hear. Yes, that is my dear sibling um, practicing the violin, and I sincerely apologize. But let's dive straight into this. So first, um, unpackaging it, very simple, just uh, this press button thingy that you find on basically every single camping. Um, bag these days um very simple just press the button pull up um and the string will come loose so you can open it like this and it's very quite simple i really think it's i mean it's it's nothing extraordinary extraordinarily fancy but i mean it's standard right so as we unroll and unravel this fantastic pillow you see it grew Yes, it grew. They grow up so fast, right? So, so the dimensions are like about two feet by one feet. I'm not exactly sure. Um, of course, uh, I will put the dimensions if you would like to purchase it or you'd like the dimensions or all that cool stuff. Um, I put that all in the description. So if you want the real name, the description of it, like a like a good specifications. Um, the link to buy it, I'll put that all in the description. But without further ado, let's check out the back. So the back is gray. Probably already saw that. But um, here's the inflation valve. You just pop that open, and when you'd like to deflate it, you take this hinge that this that was on the inflation valve, and you pull that up. So you can see the inside. So I can actually stick my finger inside the pillow. And um, I think this just acts as a filter. So let's roll the time lapse. So here's the final product after full assembly. It only took about 30 seconds, but you will feel a little lightheaded, of course, because you are blown into it. For me, I am a very small person because I'm still a child and even though I have a smaller lung capacity because I am a smaller person, it don't it didn't take me that long. It only took me a few breaths. It's very light, as you can see, and it's very, very comfortable. It's very big and squishy, very soft material, like a microfiber almost. Not a microfiber, but like a like those athletic clothings. Something that you'll get like a sweatpants. It's a really nice big logo right here, as you can see. And um it's fantastic. I really like it. I think it was only about twelve dollars. Do not quote me on that. If I do have the, if I did get the price wrong, I will put that in the description. Of course, if you want to buy it, um, there are multiple colors, but I just got um, them in blue and orange. Here's my blue one. So if you do want to buy, purchase one or buy one. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. If you would like to purchase one on Amazon. Um, free shipping and everything. Um, I will have, I will edit it and put it in the link to the this item in the description. And um, basically the exact same thing, blue one. But let's get into how to disassemble it. So I have slept with this pillow like once or twice. It's extremely comfortable. It did replace my old pillow with what, which was like this fibery stuff. It's much better because. My other one was a filler, 
and the filling would just move to the side and it really just it collected like my sweat and it really stank and stung I mean it was just really nasty so this one I really like because the, the nice cloth it won't like it's not really cloth but the nice material they use um, it really prevents like any of your odors when you go camping which I really really like but um, how you take this off is so this is the blowhole so this is how you blow into it so that's how you blow into it right but when you have it like this instead of pulling up this direction you see this hinge almost you take the hinge and you pull up and it opens that and you just squeeze out all the air so once you squeeze out all the air it is very quite simple um, you just fold it up so it's the right length right here very small stuff stack but it's very easy to fold on like sleeping pads and sleeping bags that you have that are inflatable but um, what you do is you fold it you flip it so it's the orange side and you um, you want to fold this in half and you want to squeeze out all the remaining air make sure you keep that uh, little valve open make sure it's always open you never want to keep it shut because um, air won't be able to escape and you might accidentally pop it if you press too hard and you s just straighten it out like that and then what you do is flip it over again and you fold as much as, it, as you can um, fold until that valve is right up against right here and then you start to roll so it's actually very easy like I said to assemble it and reassemble, uh, disassemble it it's probably easier than a regular pillow and it's very small compact and very very comfortable so I do think it's worth it sure it might pop but like I said my old pillow it had these it was nasty it smelled bad it was very uncomfortable near the end of its lifetime it could have gone longer if it was an inflatable pillow because there was no filling but you just roll it up like this and you place it into the stuff sack Once it's in there, of course, you pull on the, this drawstring and you, you just pull that down. It does come with a carabiner, not necessary, very convenient, but I think overall this is a fantastic, fantastic pillow for its price. It is not a very expensive pillow. You're not going to be getting like a very expensive REI pillow that's like $100, but for my opinion and how much I use pillows, camping pillows I go camping about every month it's definitely worth the money and it performs fantastic it's amazing it's comfortable but it's fantastic I love it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did uh, please like and subscribe and please leave down in the comments what I can do better next time and what I did well and what you would like to see next